was real persistent. I'm his first girlfriend. That is true. Charles's loyalty might be to his own family instead of being to you. Yes. Do you feel like I'm taking your brother away? Not at all. You can't do that. You think that we're OK and we're really not OK. I'm good. Your daughter's not good. There were a lot of arguments, but it takes two to tango, you know what I mean? So are you going to be like this the entire time? Are you excited to see your people? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It makes my stomach nervous. What, the hills? Yeah, and them. Be all right. Can I have my back? I always got your back. How y'all doing? I'm Charles. I'm Whitney. And, and we're, we're engaged. engaged. I don't have a ring, though. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> we met about five years ago, and I stalked him. We've definitely been together for six years. Continue. OK, well, I was stalking him. I got a strange DM from a stranger. She said she was going to make me her boyfriend. And six years later, we still rocking, so. We are complete opposites. She is literally everything that I'm not. I'm more laid back, reserved. She's an extrovert. So us together is like a, a nice balance. He does have a big heart, and he's selfless, and I love that. I'm about to cry. We've been engaged about nine months now, and it's been a ride. I don't feel like his side of the family really give a blessing. I think they kind of put up with me, and it kind of makes me feel um, disappointed. It's gonna be weird being in the house with them, especially with Jordan, because you know me and Jordan don't talk. Well, her and my sister, I don't, I don't know what happened. Or... We've never actually been close. I would like to know exactly what the root cause of it is, because I feel like there is something. Something has to give, unless we gonna just plan on doing this for the rest of our lives. I don't think there'll be any issues. Though. Not issues, but tension. I mean, that's the whole point, right? If there was no tension, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yes, it's so this is your new crib. Oh my god. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is nice. The house is amazing. Did you see yourself live here? I think I could live here. <laughs> Come on in, have a seat. The first thing I want to do is congratulate you on your engagement. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're excited? I'm very excited. How'd you guys meet? I was real persistent. She wrote me on social media, basically. Wait, so you slid into his DMs? I did slide into the DMs. OK. That's exactly what she That's did. That's exactly what I did. I told him he was going to be my Valentine. He didn't know what a Valentine was. He's like, what do I have to do? And I'm like, wow. yeah, I'm his first girlfriend. Interesting. This is your first girlfriend. That is true, yes. She's and the first is... person I've ever brought around my family or anything mm -hmm. like that. One of the things I understand is that you both have traumas and have experienced big losses. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? I lost my mom when I was young, like 12. And then I recently lost my brother in 2016. So my brother passed away actually playing basketball. He died on the court. He got the ball, he went up and he dunked it with two hands. His heart stopped and by the time he hit the floor, he was gone. It's part of life, it happens, right? Those kind of big losses, you have that grief basically forever. It's different to talk to somebody that hasn't been through that. And me and her could have real conversations about similar things that happen in our life. My dad passed away when I was 11, so that was really difficult for me. My grandmother raised me. What about your mom? She will actually be here. My relationship is always kind of up and down. She'd come around, I'd go visit. I knew who she was, but primarily it was, you know, my grandmother. So both of you guys lost your moms. And Whitney, you also lost your dad. Because when you're not raised by your mom, it's not the same as having a present parent. Mm -hmm. So Whitney, what three people are coming from your family? My mom, Linda, my aunt, Barbara, and my aunt, Cynthia. I just out. hope we can get some resolve. That's what I want to do. Like Boy. what? We'll be one happy family, girl. Oh. Yeah, we are. My aunt, Barbara, she just feels like he's really reserved. And I honestly feel like that's the same with my aunt, Cynthia. I know they have concerns with the family kind of being a little standoffish. Charles's kind of, family? 
Mm -hmm. okay. They would want him to kind of like stick up for me more. I see. So they have a concern that sometimes Charles's loyalty might be to his own family instead of being to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Charles, who are the three people coming from your family? My little sister, Jordan, my cousin, Wesley, and one of my closest friends, Thomas. I feel like Whitney's gonna try and push the buttons, though. Yeah, she better not. I feel like she's gonna trigger me, and I want the same energy that she tries to bring here to be a commitment to, like, what she does going forward. My sister, there's something between her and Whitney. Every time I have a conversation, it's, it seems forced. Why, I couldn't tell you. What happens if you don't get the blessings? It's important to me. That's what she wants. I'm willing to take those necessary steps to try to make that happen. I'm going to give you some tasks to do with your family. The goal is that at the end of three days, your families are on board with this marriage. Oh. Charles, since you're not 100% in the flow with Whitney's family, my task for you is first dance, last chance. Okay, you're gonna go to a dance studio with Whitney's family <laughs> for your first dance for the wedding. Sounds good. Uh huh. <laughs> Whitney, with Charles's family, you're gonna play a game called Ask Away. They're gonna be able to ask you questions, you're gonna be able to ask them questions, and of course, I want you to pay special attention to the issue with Jordan. Okay. You excited about your task? It's gonna take you out your comfort zone. I am excited about going dancing. It's a good icebreaker. To get into your family's head and hear these questions. I'm so anxious. The cactus, you think that's real? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's real, Joy. Ah, my boy. Whitney was my brother's first time at commitment. Everyone gets that first one under the belt and moves on and does it better. My brother didn't do that. Yo! Welcome to my humble abode. Hi, Brittany. What's up, Joe? Hi, Thomas. <laughs> What's up? What's up, young weird? I immediately have my guards up. I'm nervous, but I want it to be a good experience, so I'm trying to give you guys y'all space. I'll take this room. All right, I'll take the master. Rock, paper, scissors. All three of y'all staying in the same room. Yeah, we staying in the masters. When we start going through the house tour, and with Whitney, I'm not surprised that she doesn't follow us. She'll distance herself. The crazy thing is, I only notice when she's around. When she's not around, that's normal. This looks nice. You got your purse. Mm -hmm. oh, Charles's family, they have some preconceived notions about her. They make Whitney feel uncomfortable. That's unwarranted. You should be welcoming her in as your sister, your daughter, your cousin-in-law, whatever it may be. Hola. How are you? Doing good. How about yourself? Hi, Whitney. Hey, Charles. How you look doing? at you. Okay. All right. Good morning. Right? Yeah. Yes. What's going on? Yes, yes. I've been getting them right. I was trying to <laughs> close the door first. <laughs> my relationship with my mom is difficult. He said you wasn't going to make me cry. I would love for our relationship to get better. I honestly feel like it would take longer than three days. I'm going to claim this Right here. I cannot be with them. Where is she gonna be? On the floor somewhere. It's the hurry starting. Ooh. Everything. There's a lot of tension in the air right now. Do you think she has anything to be, you know, nervous about? I think everybody has something to be nervous about. We want to thank y'all for spending time with us for the next three days. It's important for us to have your blessing. Aunt Barbara, could you express what your concern is with Charles and I? My primary concern is that you and Jordan are able to get along with each other because we do a lot of family things together and want us all to be able to get along. Mama? I want all of us to get along as one big happy family. That's it. You mean that? From the bottom of my heart. OK. Aunt Cindy? My concern is as welcoming as we are with Charles, I just want to make sure you are welcomed as well. Some comments went out that you were called an outcast. And to me, that's just kind of hurtful. Whatever needs to be ironed out, it should be done now because it's just going to only get worse. Why not try to get to know me better? I don't think we have to force a friendship. I don't think we need to have a relationship. Mom. 
I just want to be by myself for a moment. It's not about you. I lost my appetite. So then you shouldn't be drinking. I needed that. I needed it. Some comments went out that you were called an outcast, and I just want to make sure that they embrace you and accept you for who you are. I know going in that these people only know me through what Whitney has said, and since I know Whitney's feelings towards me, it's not surprising that they have concerns with me. Young Joe? Y'all should take time to grow independently before you merge into one. I don't want y'all to rush it before you're mentally there. Thank you. Appreciate that, Joe. Wes? Whitney lashes out as a defense mechanism. Why are you so angry? My other thing is self-reflection, to make sure that the person that you feel you're portraying equals up to how we see you. Thomas? My feelings are y'all just started living together, moving in together. So I want to make sure y'all are OK. I don't know if y'all are like rushing into it, because everyone else we know is getting married, or that's like a thing that needs to be happening. So maybe y'all should put off the marriage until y'all more stable. Appreciate that. So Tracy gave us a task that we're going to go ahead and do with each of the families, with you three. The task is called Ask Away. Any questions that you want to know, anything that I want to know, hopefully we can be truthful. The name of our task is First Dance, Last Chance. So we're going to go uh, and have dancing lessons. <laughs> I don't always come across showing how I feel, so. This is a chance for me to step outside my comfort zone. There's a lot of questions that I want to ask your family, but there's so much going on. It's a lot of anxiety, so I'm just really nervous. I told them I'm a betting man, and I wouldn't bet on them. I don't have to support that, but I'll support you, because this is what you want. It's like right. you said, this is a grown man. If he goes through this and it doesn't work out, I'll still be here. I feel pretty excited getting to ask whatever I want because I know she's going to have to answer them, so she has to be candid about it. And so I feel like, especially with Whitney, we will get a lot of the truth out that way. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Hi. We are going to get started with some cha-cha today. It's one of the most lively of all the ballroom dances. Just the essence, the rudimentary actions are gonna kinda help you in a wedding dance. So I'm gonna have everybody line up behind me, start with the right leg, and step to the side. Very good. All right, you don't need so much attitude in your face, sir. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Side together, side. One, rock, step, cha-cha-cha. Now back, back. Rock, cha-cha-cha. I thought maybe we were going to do our routine dancing, and I was going to show him that I had skills. <laughs> so I was shocked when he came out there with that cha-cha-cha, and then I'm like, I'm going to hurt myself. What up? We all ready to play? Oh, no, man. Ask away. Why do you feel like there's so much tension between the two of us, Jordan? I really don't have tension. I respect you as my brother's gal, and that's what's important to me. If you make him happy, as long as you're doing your job in that relationship, I don't think we need to have a relationship. Us two females, if we met, I don't think we would naturally click. I don't think we have to force a friendship. Like, why not try to get to know me better? It's numerous people that can say the exact same feeling you get from Jordan, you give off. Do you feel like I'm taking your brother away? Not at all. You can't do that. Did you kind of loosen up a little bit, Charles? I tried. I tried. <laughs> what attracted you to Whitney? Initially? Yeah. Her pursuit of me. Oh, I she would... pursued you. Yes, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. That's why then. I was still younger, and this being my first relationship, there's a lot of learning that I have to do personally, a lot of growing that I have to do. It's a process. But, uh, Charles, I was wondering about your cousin and your friend. Were you receptive to what they were saying? When we first got together, there were a lot of arguments. But arguments over, like, little things. And I think that's where a lot of those feelings that Thomas and Wes have mm -hmm. about her come from, because they knew me before her. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm never upset, I never argue. So when they see that in the beginning, it's like, oh, it, it has to be Whitney that's doing this to him. Yeah. Not knowing that 
I mean, it takes two to tango, you know what I mean? Right. What do you think about her relationship with Jordan? My sister's kind of toughish. My dad was the provider. When my mom passed, there wasn't really a female role in the house. She's been raised by nothing but men. I mean, but if she cares for you, she's 100% in. Mm -hmm. Why are you so defensive around my family? I have this thing to where, like, I want people to like me. I honestly feel like you don't want me around. So I kind of just separate myself. If you're gonna go sit by yourself, like you're in timeout, I'm gonna let you. Because when you're doing that to everyone else, it comes off as, I don't wanna be here. What is it in your life that makes you so angry that you lash out? Your first go-to is always just explosive all the time. That's something that I have to work on. I've gone through counseling more than once in my life. Like therapy, just like you mm -hmm. yourself? Mm -hmm. That's good. I think everyone should, honestly. Mm -hmm. I have been let down in life. Times where, like, my mom would say, I'm gonna come get you, and she doesn't come get me. As far as between you and Whitney, is there anything that I can do to help build that relationship, make it better? It's nothing serious. Whitney has had some concerns about the, the way y'all communicate with each other. Okay, well, it's not even an issue. I don't even know why we're bringing this up. But it's been our issue, because you know, it took a village to raise Whitney. My relationship with my daughter is great. Couldn't be better. Me and my mom, we don't have like that mother-daughter relationship and we can get into arguments like going at it. She goes into a lot of detail about things that I didn't know and I see that the question that I asked struck a nerve. I don't mean to be an angry person. I guess the things that has happened in my life has a lot to do with why I can be very explosive. Sometimes I could be standoffish, or why it may come off like I'm not genuine. It's just how I handle things at times. Mm -hmm. Ooh, smell good in here. Hey, Mom. Hey. How are you? We'll talk about it later. Do you know exactly what happened with my mom? Um, during our conversation, you and her relationship was brought up. So you think that kind of made her uncomfortable? I would imagine so. All right, everyone, let's eat. All right, let's go to the table. <coughs> mom. I just want to be by myself for a moment. What's wrong? I'm not trying to pass to my business. Did they say something to make you upset? Yes. Why can't you just put your feelings aside for me? It's not about you. I lost my appetite. So then you shouldn't be drinking. I needed that. I needed it. She gets really, really angry. And instead of trying to talk it out, she shuts down completely. You can't just roll it off. But I can't fake it. I just can't. So you don't have to fake it, but... If I go to the dinner table, that's what I'm doing. But I just lost my appetite. She doesn't want to be a part of it, and she's not, you know, putting my need above her feelings. I just want everybody to be okay, and obviously she's not okay. I mean, it's a process. Can't expect everything to just get together in one night. If it was that easy, we wouldn't be here. It's not your way to bear. Yeah, but I can't help that. She's my mom. Mm -hmm. It'll get there. Okay. You'll be all right. Barbara, mm -hmm. can you do the pleasure of saying grace? Yeah, let's join hands. Is everybody here? <clears throat> everybody that wants to be. Father God, thank you for this food we're about to receive. And Father God, we thank you for this family gathering. Amen. 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 So, uh, how was the task? As we continued with some of the questions, I think we kind of opened up more. They brought up, why am I so angry? 
kind of was a rhetorical question, like for you to take deep consideration as to why you're triggered, where that comes from, to who you are as a person is displayed differently to us. So there's stuff that I've gone through and that has a lot to do with why I kind of lash out the way that I do. Although I can't say I've been in your shoes, stuff has broken me too. How you react might be to get mad. How I deal with that is I'm independent. I don't ask nobody for nothing. And that's just who I've become from what I've dealt with. We all feel pain differently. I can only empathize with her because I didn't have the same situation as far as that she has with my mother and she's having with her. So we can be there for her all day long, but it's, we can't be her mother. Right. You know, so that's really a difficult spot for her to be in. Can I go check on my mom? Hey. Hey. Do you feel better? Nope. Why not? But we'll talk about it when we get home. Mama. I, ca I can't help it, Whitney. I cannot help it. So are you going to be like this the entire time? It's difficult. She's just not having it. She's not going to cooperate on anything. And it's making me feel like this was just not worth it. You have to you have to stop trying to take responsibility for how she's being. Just let her be and you be you. Good morning, you two. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Tell me about how the dancing went. We learned a cha-cha. It was kind of fast. We do our best to try to keep up, but uh we had like a nice little eight count. Hopefully you can use that in the wedding. I'm not gonna say I mastered it like that. We actually had a sit down afterwards. So I gave them insight on my life prior to Whitney and how I grew up. They really said they are happy with the man that I had become. Mm -hmm. With my task, one particular question came up, why am I so angry? Huh. So I kind of had to reflect that this is really why some of the relationships that I encounter go the way that they go. Example, Jordan. She's okay if we don't get to be close because I felt rejected in my younger years of my life. I think that is the reason why it really bothers me. I have to understand like we don't have to be the best of friends. I think you're almost too quick to go, it's okay. I think we can do better. You could use a sister, and you could be a sister. So what I want is for you to have a one-on-one -on -one with Jordan, mm -hmm. to not just be neutral, but to be close. Okay. For you, Charles, I feel like what you need to do is sit all three of your family members down and really share your passion for Whitney with them. Okay. They need to hear that from you. So Whitney, I want to know more about your experience of your mom and all this. Do you feel like she's been responding in a way that's consistent with what you need from her? No, not at all. I don't feel like my mom is hearing me okay. because she and I have a different outlook on our relationship. She thinks that it's okay when everyone around us knows, including myself, that it's not okay. That's called denial. What is the story around why your mom didn't keep you? I don't actually know the background. My family kind of keep that to themselves. But throughout the years, she's always stated that my father wanted my grandmother to have custody of me. And I don't know if my mom wanted to be, you know, a mom at that time. So you're abandoned. You had trauma. There's an opportunity for healing here. What do you want from your mom? Her to be a mother. And what does that mean today? Right now, today, to stop being so defensive, stop acting like the world is against her because I'm not against her. I just want us to have a better relationship, better than what it is. I mean, it's amazing that you've been able to have as stable of a relationship with Charles as you've been able to have. That is very challenging for people with that kind of history. That's part of the reason why I fell in love with him. He helps me be a better person. He reassures me that at the end of the day, it's not about anybody else. He loves me. 
And that type of love is unreplaceable. And I just try to give him the love that I didn't necessarily get from my mom. I feel like we need a breakthrough with your mom. I actually want to get your mom up here. One thing that I think would be great for you, if she could listen while you tell her what your reality is around what happened to you. If she's willing, all right. in all honesty, I don't think that this is something that she would do for me. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hey, Have Mom. a seat. Hey. Sit down. This whole process is about creating a world where Whitney and Charles can walk down the aisle with your blessing. But sometimes a blessing can mean like resolution. Can you put it in your own words? I don't feel like you understand my perspective of our relationship. I feel like you think that we're okay and we're really not okay. What's wrong with it? It's not healthy. For you? For both of us. I'm good. Okay, guess what? Your daughter's not good. Can you hear that? No, she didn't say that. I'm not good. Our relationship is not healthy. And you know that. You never set me down like this to talk to me. Not set you down, but we've had phone conversations. It... You're making it about you. No, I'm not. In order for us to talk to one another. Why does everybody have to know? We never had a third party to resolve. Why should it take a third party? Can I say something about that? Because I was not raised with my mom. My dad was in prison. My dad loved me, but he wasn't there. I was raised in a number of homes. Whitney has you, you're here. That is a big deal. We can't change the past, but we can move forward in a new way. I want you to let your guard down. I want you to be there for me. And I don't think that's what you're doing. You're here, but I need you to be my mom. That's all I'm trying to be. It would feel like mom for me if you would stop being so defensive and stop making it about you. Last night, I asked you twice, can you just come out for me? You said, I can't, I can't. I asked you twice. Can you let it happen now? Okay, I'll listen. I appreciate that, because I feel like that's a start. It is. I'm not here to make you out to be the bad person. I just want our relationship to get better, that's all. I'm sorry you feel like this. I never knew we could have been did this. Maybe I haven't been able to express it to you, but I've always felt like I'm the mother and you're the daughter. <laughs> How? I've checked to make sure, are you okay? And to me, I feel like that's what the parent does. At the end of the day, I'm still the child. I never understood why I wasn't with you. Can you tell her why you didn't raise her? Well, I did. I raised her until we went to court. But since I didn't have my place, the judge ruled in their favor. But that's different than the emotions that happen. Her experience is that you're gone. And that is the biggest loss anyone can experience. There is no greater loss. Whitney is asking that that loss be part of the understanding in this relationship. And that maybe as a mother, now, today, you could emotionally attend to her. I've always wondered, like, why am I not with my mom? Mm -hmm. And I don't think you really got that that I has something that really been like no, in my I, I mind. I really got that one. Okay. I knew that. I knew you wanted to be with me, but I didn't have what it takes. And I appreciate that, you being honest, saying that. Even sometimes when the truth is hard, it's freeing. I just want you to enjoy your only daughter and be on board as far as in the wedding. Not complaining if something didn't go right, if something didn't taste good, that you keep it to yourself. That's pretty doable. Whitney wants you to be part of her life. We got a lot of families coming through here. Sometimes that's not a given. Well, I was gonna always be part of it, but only like you want me to be. 
It's a start and I'm happy that you took that first step. I just hope that leaving this, that we could still work on having a better relationship. That's good to know, because in my heart, I really didn't think you loved me. I didn't. You're my mom. I, know, I do but... love you. Give me a hug, Glenda. <laughs> Aww. I love you. I love you. I was trying to get into the horse game. Bruh, me too. <laughs> it's my shot, though, right? You know, I'm not really with the whole let's sit down and have heart to heart type situation, mm -hmm. so I use something that we all have in common. Your hands are the same size as mine. <laughs> to go to engage with my family and reassure them about how I feel about you, how much I love you, and why I chose you. So how y'all think the whole process has been going so far? Spectacular. Okay. Can you elaborate on that, please? I've always accepted and always gonna be in your corner no matter what decision you make. A lot of things that you said and that I've learned about Whitney is enlightening. I mean, but of course, I'm always going to feel it wasn't the most sound decision initially. I feel like because you don't know anything else. Like, I understand that there's going to be ups and downs, but I believe I found that person that together we'll be able to get through those trials and tribulations. I'm a thinker. I don't, I'm not going to do something I don't want to do first off, and that's not calculated. This wasn't just a random thought or just other people was getting married. And I just figured, like, let me go ahead and do the same thing. Whitney has one of the biggest hearts I've ever encountered. She's been through a lot as we're learning, and her strength is unlike anything I've ever seen. If that's the lady that he feels is his partner, then I'm with that. I appreciate that, Thomas. Whitney, actually, she knows how much love we have for each other. She wants to have a, a relationship with somebody that I hold so high. If she puts forth that effort, do you see ever getting to the level where y'all could have that sisterly bond? If we work hard on it, I don't see why it couldn't get to a far better place than it is. Yeah. I think anything's possible. For me, that's an important step. It's going in. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I can't get over your steak. It's so pink. That's how it's meant to be made. That does look good. Well, uh, as y'all know, me and Whit had another meeting today with Tracy. We talked about yesterday's task, how we were feeling about them, and it was a lot of positives when it comes to certain people's relationships and situations. With me and my mom, I feel like I got my questions answered. How did you think it went? I got to know what your feelings were. And going forward, I guess we can be on the same page. I will always be there for you, Whitney, in any and everything. And from the bottom of my heart, I want you to know that. Me and my mom, I feel like we've grown into a better state. The weight is finally lifted off of my shoulders. I'm looking forward to having my one-on-one -on -one with Jordan. I believe that both of us could kind of let our guards down and be truthful with one another. The, nervous or what? I'm so nervous. You're just not eating breakfast? Yeah, I'm gonna have steak and eggs. I had beans, rice, and shrimp. Yeah, in the morning. First of all, anywhere but America, that's breakfast. OK, I'm culture. <laughs> Whatever, Jordan, we get it, all right? Waking up, knowing my one-on-one -on -one with Jordan is getting ready to happen. I'm, I'm nervous. I know in the beginning, you felt like I never really made that initiative to try to get to know you a little bit better. So I apologize for that, because like you said on day one, if it was that important to me, then I should have showed a little bit more interest. There's a lot of things that I didn't realize that I see could be very, very difficult for you. You not having your mother and you being raised by all guys. Yeah, I get to see kind of why your reactions to stuff are certain ways because of your background. I am how I am because I'm a product of my environment, just the and same. the same. Yeah. How was it not having your mom? My mom passed away when I was so young. That's all I knew, really, until I got around like other people's families and they brought me in as their own. It's not until I'm around other females that I know the difference. Like, just being raised by a man and an army man at that, 
Like, I, I wasn't in a family where we said I love you every day. That's how your mind yeah. was kind of trained. Like, there was just stuff that I had to go through by myself. Because I couldn't be like, hey, mom, like, such and such happened. How do I deal with this? I'm lost. Like, help me. You know? Like, I'd never had that. It was just Jordan, you figured out. Thank you for telling me, because again, like it's never crossed my mind. If nothing else, at least now we have something in common. Yeah. It means a lot for, for me and you to get somewhere. I don't know how close or where this is gonna go, but I can do genuine. Or now that I know personally, like it does matter to you. And I know that like going forward, you plan to make that effort and I plan to reciprocate it. Like I think we're good. Dress. Thank you. How are you guys? Good. So, who wants to talk about the task? We went down and played some basketball, and I explained to them what it is about Whitney that made me choose her. And how'd they respond to that? I mean, I don't really talk that much, so I had to open up a little bit, and they saw it from my lens, mm -hmm. and I think that changed the perspective. Do you think something shifted? I think so, honestly. Mm -hmm. Great. Whitney, how did your task go? Talking to Jordan, little bits of pieces of the wall kept coming down. Charles lost his mother, but Jordan lost her mother right. also at a very, very, very young age. Jordan lost her mom at six, and you lost your mom when you were five. So you actually lost your moms at the same age. I mean, there's a connection there. Right, and we noticed that with mm -hmm. one another. I mean, that was a start to where we're like, wow, this is something that we have in common. Charles. How do you feel hearing Whitney talk about the way her relationship with Jordan has grown? I love it, actually. I didn't realize coming into this how much could be accomplished mm -hmm. if both sides were willing to put in some work. That's right. All right. We're basically minutes away from the blessing ceremony. Oh. You guys have any feelings about how you think it's going to go? I think everybody here on both sides of the family have a new perspective on our relationship. So, I mean, I'm confident. In the commitment. Yeah. Wonderful. I have my predictions. You know, I, I still feel like some people are a little skeptical. OK. So we'll see. I'm so nervous walking into this because I feel like it can go both ways. OK. I'm looking forward to seeing where everybody's head is at. I don't think that we'll get all the blessings today. First off, we want to thank you guys for being a part of this journey with us. I know we went through a little rough patch, but also in the end, we had breakthrough. So we'll start with my family. Aunt Cindy, do you give us your blessing? Well, when I first got here, um, I was concerned about Charles's family embracing you the same way that we had embraced him. But since having been here, I feel a warmness, and I'm glad that everybody has gotten clarity. So I give y'all my blessing. Thank you. Next, Aunt Barbara. My primary concern at the time was uh, with you and Charles' family, and I see where there is a beginning of a new relationship for both you and Jordan. And I got to see a different side of Charles that I'd never seen before. I give you and Charles my blessings. Thank you. Mama. This has truly been a journey. And I didn't want to be a part of it. Because of you and I and our past, however, I think it's the best thing that could have happened for the both of us. From the very beginning of meeting Charles, I felt that he was perfect for you. And with that being said, you have my blessing. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thomas. I've seen tremendous growth, and from the events I've seen, now I have more confidence that you two will be able to overcome any type of issue that I had from the beginning. So as far as my blessing goes, you both have my blessing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Wesley, since we've been in the house, I've seen a completely different side of Whitney. She even shared a lot of things that she went through in her life that shined a lot of light on why she does the things that she does. She took a lot of accountability for her actions. And then Chaz, the greatest thing that you had said was you're not planning to have to even go through anything without Whitney. Like, it's the end all be all, which hit home for me. 
As far as my blessing go, I give y'all my blessing. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Young Joe. One thing the brother said was, it's not about where we're at, it's more so where you're going, and he feels very confident that you can be there with him through the highs and lows and grow together. So that being said, I think that y'all definitely are gonna work on y'all selves while y'all work on each other, and I can't fault you for that. As far as my blessing goes, I mean, blessing's a strong word, but you definitely, hands down, have my support. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it means that. means a lot. I think overall, this was a success. That success came because everybody was willing to put in the work. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be in the middle. <laughs> yeah. I feel like us as a couple and us as a family coming together, we're better off now than where we started. We are. You ready to walk down the aisle? Yes. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> That's great work. To see my sister and my niece hurt, of course, that's gonna hurt me. Glenda! I didn't know exactly what Whitney was getting us into, but I'm so glad and I'm she so did. thankful that she did. Family or what? Beyonce! Beyonce.